Hi and welcome along to Al's Geek Lab. I am Al and I thought I'd just throw a very quick video together and um, talk about Ken Williams' game. Now, if you've watched the channel for a while, you might recall a while back, uh, Ken Williams, the ex-CEO of Sierra Online, made games like Leisure Suit Larry, Space Quest, King's Quest, all of that. I interviewed Ken Williams um, back I think it was I think it might have been 2021 no video complete without you would do I don't know why it is every time I want to take a video it's, you know fine within when, when I'm not making a video uh, it doesn't come up onto the keyboard and smash the keyboard but when I when I do want to make a video it's uh, it's in the way <laughs> anyway uh, I can tell you where was I yes so Ken Williams um, he yes he's the ex-CEO uh, of Sierra and I think they were sold around the time just after so Half-Life 1 came out so that was one of the last games that they distributed under the brand Sierra Entertainment um, and yeah so this is a picture here of Ken Williams and his wife Roberta and Roberta was um, a huge part of Sierra um, at least equal and I think it's often times you know said that you know you know if you the face of Sierra was Ken Williams, but actually, the Ken and Roberta were a power couple in the regard of there would have been no Sierra without Roberta. Uh, Roberta was the person who first had the idea for the very first adventure game, and she was the the, the person behind all of the stories of the King's Quests games uh, and so many different things throughout the life of Sierra. Right, so um, Gabriel Knight as well, well one of the, the great titles there. Um, so I want to dwell on that aspect um, because um, Ken and Roberta had been doing nothing for a long time in terms of the IT industry. They'd completely left that. They were doing their own thing, boating, and watch that interview with Ken if you can, if you've got some spare time. Uh, it's, it's a really good interview, um, if I say so myself. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, because he talks about, you know, what he's been doing for the past, you know, 20 years of his life, and it's basically all about boats and stuff like that, so he mentions that bit. But Roberta um, actually brought the concept of computer games to Ken, right? So Ken had been using, he, he talks about this in this the interview I did, he, he, he'd been playing with um, a terminal that he had at his house and he was writing I think a Fortran compiler um, at the time on this terminal that was hooked up to some mainframe somewhere miles away. So he was typing away at this and um, and I presume it was either a VMS system or a unit system, either way it doesn't really matter, but he was you know, typing away at this and went through a few directories and then one day came across uh, an adventure game text adventure game so one of the very first if not the first uh, adventure game one of the first computer games in fact on the system so this was in the sort of mid to late 70s you'd have to go back to the interview to find out exactly what year this was but it was it was yeah it was definitely 1970s probably late 70s um, and he played it and he enjoyed it and he thought it was cool and he thought it was a nice distraction but it wasn't until he then showed Roberta, his wife, um, about this game. He said, here, have a look at this. And she got absolutely hooked on this game. And this game, I believe, turned out to be Colossal Cave Adventure, um, which was, I believe, the first adventure game. So, you know, you, you know, Zork and, um, you know, all those sorts of games that came along later on, they, they, they were huge titles and, and text adventures really came... Uh, and 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 moved on from there but um sierra um they they sort of took adventure games to the next level because they started bringing in graphic elements to them um so the first game that sierra ever created when it was called online systems was called mystery house and mystery house was basically all roberta's idea it was like a murder mystery like a whodunit kind of thing and uh, she said to Ken after playing and completing Colossal Cave Adventure this is amazing we've got to do something like this Ken can you program a computer game with graphics you know so taking the text element that she enjoyed but then adding graphics to it was just something that had never been done before 
and that was uh that was how it all began and then on the apple II in that i think it was like 1980 or yeah somewhere around there i think it was 1980 uh colossal cave um well, I'm sorry not colossal cave mystery house uh the high resolution adventure game was released to the public and it was a huge success and the rest pretty much as they say is history and um you know, Roberta went off to create King's Quest, um, which was just a massive, massive uh, hit series. Um, I think there was seven King's Quests in total. So it's a lovely little picture of um, Ken and Roberta. Um, Ken looking very photogenic there. <laughs> Not from um, probably the the early part of the era. I would say that's probably that that looks like Mystery House. Uh, sorry, not Mystery House. Um, mixed up Mother Goose, maybe. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure which game that is on the on the screen there. But that could perhaps be a PC Junior or a Tandy 1000, um, which really was a, a turning point for them because it was when um, you know, the, uh, the King's Quest series came out. So anyway, um, the, this uh, I've been following Ken along quite closely since he released his book. Um, which is called Not All Fairy Tale, Not All Fairy Tale, Not All, hold on, hold on, kensbook.com, I think it was. I remember the website. We talked about it quite a lot. Not All Fairy Tales Have Happy Endings, goodness me. Yes, there you go. Uh, incredibly good book. Um, if you are at all interested in the history of Sierra, um, but also not just about the games but mainly about how the business happened all of the sort of business story about the you know the early days the heydays and then the the actual untimely demise of sierra and what happened there it was quite almost quite a sad uh, ending uh, it was a sad, a sad ending and i think um that that part to it is uh, is probably part that a lot of people don't quite know um, so pick up a copy of that. You can buy that online or, or, even, or get it in soft cover. I've got the, the book itself, the soft cover. Um, Ken actually sent me an advanced copy, so that's awesome. So anyway, yeah, um, check it out, kensbook.com if you want to read the book. Um, back to this, though. Um, after that, uh, after he wrote his book, there wasn't a lot of anything going on. And then there was sort of rumblings. Um, I think I don't I don't know how I remember getting notified about it. It might have just been through the fact that I was on the, the mailing list for Ken's book and all of a sudden uh, there was this talk, this sort of very sort of secretive talk about a new computer game coming out. Um, and that's sort of been bubbling over now, um, became official, but there was still a lot of uh, secretism around it. Um, for quite a while. It wasn't really clear what sort of a game it would be. Obviously, it was going to be an adventure game, but other than that, it was very, you know, pretty secret. And he teamed up with a, a young gentleman who sort of made, uh, had convinced Ken to make it in to have some sort of, if you wanted to, uh, 3D element to it in terms of VR. Um, so that's, that's, you know, quite, quite new. Um, so I think that Ken... Has created um, this this company now called Cygnus. That's the sort of company he's um, doing. Uh, he's made uh, so as the new Sierra almost. Um, and 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 I just I'll just read this out to you. Um, pioneering adventure game developers are working on a revival of Colossal Cave Adventure. So there's a hint to what's going to happen. After officially announcing their return to games last year. Sierra Online founders Ken and Roberta. That's, that is interesting because at the beginning it was just Ken um, and now we're hearing that Roberta is involved in this, which is great, are ready to show off their new project, previously referred to as just the secret. It will be a reimagining re of Colossal Cave Adventure, the seminal 1970s text adventure game created with inspiring Zork, Rogue and other formative PC games, as well as for laying the groundwork for the PC role-playing genre as a whole. And that is absolutely true, as I mentioned earlier on. Titled Colossal Cave 3D Adventure, it is a first-person adventure designed in Unity for VR and PC. Like the original, the underlying concept is relatively simple. Players explore a cave seeking treasure, encountering characters along the way, including a troll, a bear, a snake, and a pirate. 
and the quest apparently is to find all the treasure. The reimagined adventure will be challenging and will feature a wide variety of puzzles to overcome in a completely immersive 3D world, more than 143 locations in all. So that sounds cool. I wonder if it will be as... Um, sometimes the Sierra games, my only real criticism of the Sierra games, and I don't really have many because I love the Sierra games with all my heart, but the, the biggest criticism I guess that people have of them is the fact that you could die, and you could die in some really dumb ways. And LucasArts kind of went, no, we're not going to make our games that you can die, you just you know, the puzzles will be the, the strength of the game. So that was the, the main difference, I think, between the LucasArts adventures and the Sierra ones. So I wonder if you can die quite heinously in this game or whether it's a bit, that part's toned down. So it'll be interesting to see. According to Ken Williams, the creation of the Colossal Cave 3D adventure was spurned by the boredom of quarantine during the COVID-19 pandemic. I can just imagine Ken on his boat, um, you know, here's this sort of, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like luxury yacht. I mean, um, the, the man is, um, is very wealthy. I don't know how wealthy, but I, I'm sure it's many, many millions. Um, he is a lovely yacht and, um, but I don't, I don't think he's a show off kind of guy. Um, he's just got a, a nice yacht, but because, during, during COVID, he told me how he'd, um, basically been, you know, stuck. I think, I think he was in Seattle, um, at the time when I spoke to him and, and yeah, he, he just couldn't, couldn't get anywhere. He couldn't do anything. Um, so he was literally just living on his boat, not doing very much. So, um, you know, with my, my parents are, are close to Ken's age and I think that they also are in sort of, uh, a level of boredom, which is, um, fairly unique. So yeah, um, if you're going to do something like write a book or, or make a computer game, um, COVID-19 and the lockdown that, it presented uh, what is is really an ideal time for for all of this sort of stuff. So why not? Um, quote: I was looking for something interesting to code when Roberta suggested Colossal Cave. Roberta started to work adapting it to 3D, and I assembled our teams. I didn't know this actually. I didn't know that um, Roberta had such an early uh, early early instigation of this project. As we dug deeper and deeper into the game, we discovered layers of complexity that explain why the game became such an industry phenomena. It has action elements, humor, a scoring system, adventure elements, interesting characters, a huge world to explore, and more. And this truly, this is truly a game that will delight a new generation and 100% different than anything I've seen on the market today. Ken and Roberta Williams are pioneering adventure games developers in Sierra Online, they retired in 1999, but are now returning to games for the first time in more than 20 years. Colossal Cave 3D Adventure will support virtual reality, there you go, as I said earlier on, via the standalone Quest 2 headset. Now, I don't know anything about the um, Quest 2 headset. I've never heard of that. Um, let's, let's Google that very quickly. Uh, oh, right, okay, it's the Oculus, Oculus thing. And, and yeah, there you go, it's... Um, it looks to be about the cheapest I can get it there is about five hundred and seventy dollars New Zealand. That is not not US dollars, so there'll be less in U in US dollars. Um, so it's still quite an expensive piece of kit, um, and I'm always frightened that if I buy one of these um, VR headsets, I'm just going to vomit all over the floor. Um, I tried one one day in a shop, and um, I didn't like it, and so immediately just kind of went, nah, not for me. But I mean, look. Um, everybody's different and that might be something that's really interesting um my understanding from hearing uh from the developer that he teamed up with who i forget his name but the the, the young gentleman i say young because he's you know significantly younger than um ken um the young gentleman that he uh teamed up with um convinced him to go with vr i believe at the beginning it wasn't a vr uh, game it was just purely the sort of Sierra sort of adventure game that we know as a sort of 2D slash 3D kind of uh, game but obviously this is a fully 3D game I I would say although this is me guessing that I would say the game is probably going to support both a non VR mode and a, and a VR mode so Anyway, here's a quote. At first we thought it would be a simple effort, but quickly realized that VR is not as simple as just running the same old game on a new platform. Major design changes were required and all graphics had to be thrown away and started over. Was it worth it? 
yes, anyone who plays the VR version will be blown away. It says VR version there, so that kind of, again, hints to my thought that there is a both a sort of 2D slash 3D version and a, and a VR version. So fingers crossed that's what it is. It is really staggering when you enter the cave, the pair wrote. So I, I will I will look forward to seeing the, the VR version, but um, I don't know, I'm not sold yet on buying a v on a VR headset. The pair announced that they would return to gaming last year where they said they'd be working on a Sierra flavored game titled Sickness Entertainment. The new studio is entirely self-funded. So that's awesome. Um, I don't think that Ken and Roberta are short of a few pennies. So I, I, whilst this is um, it's great uh, that they can afford to pay for it, I don't think that's a problem. But that probably means that they get uh, there's no external influences that are going to force them to have a particular release schedule or a particular um, uh, a particular mandate about how the game has to be or whatever. It's purely going to be something along the lines of Roberta's cre creative imagination plus Ken's um, unique abilities i think well at least you know back then back in the day they were unique you know his coding and his capability and in, in, in running a business and just as, as general savvy uh, as you'll read in the book if you've not already read it these these two will really lend themselves together there so i'm i'm, I'm really excited about this um sickness is planning to release colossal cave 3d this summer it will be available on the quest 2 pc and mac there you go so it will be available as a standard sort of 2d 3d kind of adventure um because it says pc and mac so that's that i'm i'm going right okay it's, it's not just um a vr thing um and then of course there's the obligatory video and i haven't watched this this is i'm i'm cutting this video live by the way i, I knew this was coming and i wanted to make a video about this but there was like the details on all of this was kind of scant so i hadn't um I hadn't put together a video yet and so I wanted to wait for for this to become a real thing uh, rather than talk about it um, in the dribs and drabs that have been fed to me up until now but here we go this is I think this is uh, this is uh, this is the first time I'm gonna watch this uh, this video so I'll watch it with you here we go and I'll press play new logo Ken and Roberta Williams' fairy tale began 50 years ago as teenagers, who in late 1972 married just one year out of high school. By 1979, they were living happily ever after. Ken had fulfilled his life dream of becoming a computer programmer, while Roberta, between computer jobs of her own, was busy raising their two small sons. One day, Ken carried home from work a teletype connected to a computer at MIT. On it, he discovered a text game simply called Advent. He ran it, and the first words displayed would change their lives forever. You're standing at the end of the room before a small brick building. He showed this to Roberta, who immediately took over and played the game for weeks. When she finished, having earned all 350 points, she said to him, I love that game, and I have a game idea of my own. Will you program it for me? Maybe with graphics? I'm calling it Mystery House. Hey, I was right. Together, they formed Sierra Online to develop more games. Roberta designed many hit products. And over the next 18 years, Sierra Thanks, grew to over 1,000 employees, with Ken as CEO. Sierra went Porsche. public on NASDAQ in 1987 and was acquired in 1997. Roberta and Ken subsequently retired, built a home in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, <laughs> then bought a boat and circumnavigated the oceans for almost 25 years, running the boat themselves. Zygnus, there you go, that's, that's where the name of the company comes from. Meanwhile, the game that had inspired Roberta went on to become famous. Microsoft published it as their first game. Apple also launched it as their first game. Not long after, 
Atari made it into a cartridge that sold a million copies. Over the next 45 years, the game known as Colossal Cave Adventure would be remade over 180 times. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of websites dedicated to it. An internet search finds 2.1 million references, and phrases such as Zizzy have entered our culture. I've In early 2020, it. while Ken and Roberta were pondering their next projects, the pandemic of COVID struck. Stranded at home, Ken needed a challenge and asked Roberta, What, what is he doing? Do? Looks like E.T. He suggested he write a book, and that he did. The History of Sierra Online. The book became a bestseller. Remembering his Sierra days, Ken became curious about the current games being programmed, which brought him to Unity. Wow, Ken exclaimed and started learning it. Roberta, I want to make a game. Do you have any suggestions? And she did have a big idea. Roberta said, We owe our wonderful lives to that old game I played and loved 45 years ago. What if we could remake it with Unity in 3D? And so, welcome to Colossal Cave 3D Adventure. Adapted for virtual reality and computers by Roberta Williams. Engineered by Ken Williams. There you go. Um, just as I was watching uh, the 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 video there, just at the end when I was seeing that, you know, it's obviously pre-alpha, so the subject to change it says, but um, I was getting uh, mist feels. If if you ever played mist when you were a kid, the the graphics kind of the immersive way that the mist game kind of felt that was that certainly seemed like. That kind of way. So it looks really cool. Um, I can't wait. So that's um, coming up in the summertime. Um, and yeah, I think that's all all there is. Uh, oh no, it says fall here. I did say summertime on that last page, um, but it says fall here. So there's a bit of a dispute there already. So I would probably go more like with fall. Um, but if you want to know more, um, this is not a plug, this I'm not, uh, uh, I'm, I'm totally not sponsored by Ken in any way, but if you go to colossalcave3d.com, uh, you can pop your details in this form at the bottom of the page and register for more information. Um, and then they say the release information will come along, but there you go. Um, targeted for the fall. So it is definitely the fall that's coming out. So yeah. Um, I uh, I hope this has been um, and oh goodness be look at all of those lists of all the Sierra games that came out that you know that's even more than I um, than I thought there was just like when you see them all there the pages it is, it is pages there of Sierra games you know those are those are the games that they released um, I mean Diablo Hellfire NASCAR uh, Grand National. Um, Rama. These are all sort of games right at the sort of far end of the um, the, the life of um, Sierra Online, but certainly still they were still chucking out really massive big hits at the end of their days um, before they sold off to um, I can't remember the sort of three name three name uh, it was a three name three letter acronym sort of company that, that they sold off to that were big corrupt conglomerate. Um, yeah, it's a huge, huge big story, that one. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so if you are interested, if you were a player of Sierra games back in the day, um, I don't know why you wouldn't want to get involved and get behind um, this game. So um, check it out. As I say, ColossalCave3D.com. I'm really excited about it. Um, hit me up in the comments and tell me about what your thoughts about it. Are you, you, um, you interested in... Um, this Oculus version, or what do you think about the 3D aspects? Um, what do you think about the fact that Ken and Roberta have come back to the industry after all of this time? Um, yeah, uh, I'd love to love to know what you think. Let me know. And of course, um, I really appreciate your uh, your watching my videos. Um, give me a thumbs up um, if you'd like to see the Ken Williams interview. Just check out the channel. 
Uh, don't forget youtube.com forward slash Al's Geek Lab. I'm on social media. You can search for Al's Geek Lab on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, Twitter as well. And uh, yeah, um, also Patreon. So if you'd like to support the channel, patreon.com forward slash Al's Geek Lab. Thank you very much for watching this quick little video. I will be back with a, uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff actually going up, some real, real good stuff. I, I hope you'll enjoy them. Lots of different stuff for you. And that's all coming up very soon. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.